Welcome back guys. In this video, we've been asked to map the following points in the z-plane onto the w-plane under the transformation w equal f of z stated in each case. The first one says z is equal to 3 plus j2 under w equal 1 plus j bracket z take away 2. Let me start with that very first one. So let us see how this goes. So um, I'm going to write solution. For the first question, the e equation is w equal 1 plus j bracket z minus 2. So um, this is going to become w equal 1 plus j. So what is our z? z is what? 3 plus j2 then minus 2. Don't forget about that guy. So w will then become, we're going to use our FOIA method to expand. 1 plus 3, sorry, 1 times 3 rather. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times j2 is j2. Then j times 3 is j3. Then j times j2 is minus 2. Why is it minus 2? That's obviously little because j times j is what? Minus 1. Minus 1 times 2 will then give us minus 2. And not forget that there's a minus 2 on this very part. So this is w equal 3 minus 2 minus 2. Be giving us what? Minus 1. But well, let me just put it like this. 3 take away 2 is what? 1. 1 take away 2 is negative 1. j2 plus j3 will give us j5. So this would then become my w. And I can pretty much draw this very guy. So let us just draw it before we go to the next one. So let us draw this very guy. So I'm going to start with the z plane. So this is my z plane. And in this case, my z, x is 3. This is 3. So let me call this my x axis. And this is my y. Well, my y is 2. So this is going to become 2. That's what I have there. Okay, if I should want to call this point, I'm going to call it here. So this is my p. This is my p. So this is our z plane. That's our z plane. Now let us go to our w plane. Let me draw this guy. So this is our w plane. And um, for w, my x is what? Minus 1. I'm going to be putting minus 1 somewhere here. And, oh, sorry. It's not actually x. It's u. I don't just know why I like calling it. You remember that for w, we're going to be having our u plus what? jv. So it's u. I don't know why I like calling it x. So this is minus 1. Then, what is our v? v is 5. So this guy is going to be v. And let me be putting my 5 here. So that's 5. Okay, and if I should trace this very guy, I'm going to be having it somewhere here to make it much more beautiful. So this is my p prime, and this will be called my w plane. Okay, I can actually put it here instead. Now, what do I do next? I'm going to um, map these two guys together. So this guy is going to be coming this way. So that's what we have. And I can say this is w equal f of z. I want to label everything completely. So I can just come and put w plane here. Instead of it to be this way. So that will become our W plane. Okay. And this is pretty much our answer. But that's our answer to the question. Now if you take note, this very part was not needed. So in some diagrams, you might be able to see that, oh, these sides were not drawn. So this is my zero. This is my zero. So your diagram can look like this. It is still correct. You are still very much correct. So let's look at the next question. The next one says um, z is equal to 2 plus j. So this time around, I can wipe this place off. We're done with the question number one. So the question two says that our transformation equation is w equal to z squared. So this w, what is our z? z is 2 plus j. And this is all squared, right? In this case, how do we open our squares very fast? This w equal, I'm going to say 2 squared which is 4, multiply everything you see here, 2 times j is j2, then times 2 will give me what? j4, then what is j squared? Minus 1, right? You remember? So this w equal 4 minus 1 is what? 3 plus j4. So you have gotten your w. I think this method is much more better. Okay, I can now wipe this place off, right? This guy can go off. Let me show the transformation. So let us show the transformation to that very guy. 
So this time around, what is our W? 2 plus G. So it means I need just my positive axis. Okay, I think this guy was too long. Okay. So this is what I have. I have my X here. I have my Y. Let me call this my Z plane. As always, it's even supposed to be the Z plane. So this is 0. I have my X as 2. So this is 2. Then I have my Y as 1. So this is 1. And if I trace this point, I'm going to be having this guy. So let me call this P. That's our first guy. Then I'm going to draw our W plane. So W plane will be looking somewhat like this. So this is U and this is V. Okay, this is my origin, which is 0. So in this case, um, I have my U as 3. So it's going to come much more further, 3. Then I have my V as 4. So let me take this a little bit upwards. So this is 4. And if I should trace these two guys, I'm going to be having it at this very point. Remember, I am just, I don't have my ruler to kind of confirm everything. But that's what we're going to be having. So this is um, P prime. And this is our W plane. So this is our W plane. And I can pretty much map this onto that very guy. So that, um, that will be the image of this. So um, let this guy come here. As you can see, my arrows are actually showing where you're mapping onto. So please, put in your arrows. So this will then become W equal F of Z. Okay. And with this, you've pretty much done what the question is asking you to do. So this will be all for the question. Nothing more for you to do. Thank you very much for watching this very video. See you um, next time in the next video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share it across to your classmates. Thank you.